hello everyone i'd like to welcome you guys to another youtube video firstly i'd like to wish everyone a happy new year and also i would like to appreciate everyone who has been supporting my channel thank you so much guys i really do appreciate all right so today we're going to be looking at this image we're going to be retouching the image um if you know the last time i created an action that helps us um, speed up our workflow so you can do well to check those videos out and then i'm going to leave the link to that action in the description below so um do well to check it out too all right so we're going to use frame separation like i said we, uh, we're going to also, also going to be using the action that we created to edit this image so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and then give me a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section let me know what you think i i, I those, those comments are are so important those feedbacks are so important to me all right so leave me a comment in the comment section so let's jump right in all right so the first thing we're going to do right now is to of course um remove the blemishes so I'm, I'm going to bring up my layer tab so just in case you can't find your layer tab for any reason you can go to windows and you can go to layers and then you have it all right so the first thing i'm going to do is to duplicate my layer i'm going to press ctrl j for that to duplicate and then i'm going to zoom in a bit so i'm going to hold ctrl then plus key to just zoom in a bit right so i can see what i'm working on a lot more better so I'm going to hit J to bring up my, my, um, patch tool, but this time around, I'm going to use, um, the spot hidden brush to work on this image. So I'm going to use a spot hidden brush. All right. So you can hold shift and press J to, yeah, this is my spot hidden brush. All right. So I'm going to increase the size a little bit by holding my left bracket, um, key, the key next to P. All right, so I'm going to um, start removing my blemishes. I'm just going to circle around and you can see how easy it is already to remove um, blemishes. All right, so I want you to take your time to remove the blemishes. Um, let's see. Okay. Now this image doesn't really have much blemishes, blemishes um, you know, like that. And um, I think I'm done removing the blemishes. So what I'm going to do right now is to flatten the whole image. So I don't have to. All right. So I'm going to flatten the image. Then I'm going to run um, my action again. So I'm going to click. All right. So I'm going to select the radius of four. So I'm going to press OK. All right. So I have my frequency separation run. Now, this has saved me like, I don't know, maybe one minute there about. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm going to start working on my image. All right. OK. So I'm going to start working on my image and I'm going to increase the size of my brush. All right. Now my settings are as follows. The weight is 15. I'm going to drop it down to 15 and then my load is 75. My mix is 90 and my flow is 10 and um, hundred. All right. Now, like I said, this is not a fixed values that you can use. You can talk to, you can, you know, play around with different settings and work, whatever work, works best for you, you could use it. All right. So I'm going to make sure my clean after, each stroke is um, um, selected and I'm also going to deselect load the brush after each stroke. All right. So that's the simple settings I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to start uh, mixing. And like I said, if, if you really want to know better how we, um, how to use the mixer brush, go check out my previous videos um, where I um, talked in details how, you know, the mixer brush works and, and all of those stuff. So I'm going to start, um, mixing like so now i can reduce the size of the brush and then i start uh, mixing now remember you don't drag from highlights to shadows make sure you maintain make sure you maintain um you know all of those stuffs and you know so your image will look come out a lot more better all right So 
So I'm going to reduce the size of my brush, you know, in tight areas like this. Now, um, now, how natural you want your image to look um, depends on use, basically. So it depends on the settings of your mixer brush. It depends on the settings of your um, your um, the, the value of your radius. So the, the higher it goes, the more um, the effect, the higher the value of your, of your Gaussian radius or median radius determines the you know the effect of your mixer brush. All right, so you can like in this video in this um, image I use um, the value of four, so you can use six. It depends on you know a lot of people like prefer um, they like different things. All right, so like I said, there's, there's no fixed value to distance. It just depends on what what works best for you. All right, so now for example, maybe you're shooting for a client. The client might want you know his or her face to be very very smooth why some don't so you have to get the information from your client first before you proceed of course i'm sure they might have seen your work that's why they hired you to you know do the shoot now for this video you know i'm, I'm trying to you know reduce the number the amount of time it will take me to to you know retouch So I think um, I have my image like this. Let's see. Okay, this is before and this is after. Now I can see some color variations right here. Just make sure you you know blend those stuffs in very well. All right. Now, like I said, you know, I've repeat, repeated this over and over again, that um, retouching is all about practice. The more you practice, the better you get. The more you practice, the better you get. All right. So you're in the right place, you know, learning how to retouch and all of those stuff. So, but you still need to practice and practice and practice and practice. All right. The same goes to whatever art it is that you find yourself in. Practice is a constant um, thing there. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna zoom out. Let's see what we've done. All right, so I think I'm, I'm cool with this. Just take care of some of the All right, so I think I'm fine. So let's look at the before and let's look at the after. Now, th there's an issue right here. I mean, because I was very tra tra trying to be fast right here. Now, there's an issue right here. So it's just for you to blend in. And let's see before. Let's bring up our layer panel and let's see before and let's see after. All right, so this looks um, nice. So this looks nice. So there might be a lot of stuff that I, I want to do again. So I'm going to duplicate the texture layer. Then I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply, and then I'm going to drop down the opacity to maybe like uh, 
20 uh, around that value all right so i have um this before and this after just a basic and it and it adds um more texture to, to it um, also so you can go in on the face all right now i'm, I'm going to whiten the eyes a bit i have an action for that so i'm going to bring up my action panel so i have um eye and teeth whitening all right so i'm going to click on it and it's going to run so i did it twice so i'm going to delete it delete one bring it up all right so i'm going to change my i'm going to change my brush to the normal brush reduce the okay i think i'm gonna leave it at, leave it at 100. now make sure your the color the, your foreground color is white so it can reveal all right so i'm going to just clean the eyes a little bit all right So, all right. So, if you think it's too much, of course, you can always reduce the opacity to maybe like 80, 70, whatever work, works best for you. All right. So, I'm going to zoom out and let's look at the before and after a lot more better than, than it was before. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you, what you think and let me know what you would like me to do next. Um, we're going to talk about, um, you know, trying to use Dodge Bond to, you know, retouch the image maybe in the next video. And, um, you know, put bring a little bit of dimension to your image um, and all of those stuff. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Yeah. Bye.